Hey guys, today I invite you to come hang out with us, watch my rods bend, call out the rods that are bending, hang out with me and my family, have an awesome day on the beach with us. Oh! You want a shark? Whoa! Oh! We're on! I've been going out on the beach for a while with these e-bikes, but today is special because I get to take my mom. She has a rare illness that doesn't allow her to ride a traditional bike anymore, so I surprised her for Christmas with this tricycle from AdMotor. This is perfect for her. I'm really happy I get to take her on a beach adventure with the whole family today. We finally got the whole crew out here. We got five bikes out here. Mom and Dad, Auntie Kim, my sister, Aaron, got all my rods. Let's go find some fish. So I've got a bunch of family here from all different parts of the world. I'm really excited because I could bring a lot of them onto the beach with me today. My main objective today is to just catch some fish, bring it home and show them what a fresh catch and cook is. Because a lot of people in the world, I realize they don't have access to fresh fish. So anytime they have a moving fish in front of them or a live fish, they're very surprised. And the fish itself tastes so good. They've never had anything like it before. So really what I'm trying to recreate here is just delivering fresh fish to my family. So I found my spot. Now, really what's important is that we have good bait. So I'm gonna go over here, other side of the beach, see if I can find any ghost shrimp. I've got a really cool pump that pumps all the ghost shrimp out. We take those ghost shrimp, put it on our high-low rigs that we've already have all pre-tied, cast it out there. And this is the best way to just have fun. It's just to have fresh bait on a high-low rig, wait for the rods to bend. It's so fun to run up to the rods. Let's do this. This is our invisible thread that we'll use to keep all of those ghost shrimps onto the hook. Keep this trash in your pocket. You just pretty much just wrap up all your baits in this. Keeps it from flying off, keeps it from little fish from biting it off. This up and put it on a hook. If that's what you want to do. I think I'm gonna do that. Oh, 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 oh. It's not huge, but it's something. It might have just popped off. Oh no, I still I think I feel it. It just popped off. Another whiting, huh? That's a good one, though. All right, I'm gonna put it out on the sure catch rig.
start. We'll call you Uncle Bill. Oh, thank you, Mike. Something good. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. Nice one too. Not even small. See, they're swallowing all the hooks. I'm wondering if you can eat this as sashimi. Never thought of it. You missed the bite, it was a big bite. It's probably another whiting, but now we probably have enough to make a really awesome meal. Oh, it's a big whiting. There we go. Not a big one. This is, uh, we'll consider like a moderate sized one. Looks like a bigger one. Another whiting, nice. But this is a big one. Big fat juicy. Any pliers? Yeah. I thought you said, of course we got a big whiting. Not bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. We'll keep this one, yeah? yeah. Filet it and do the uh, fish and chips very good with this one. Donkey Kong. The smallest whiting of the day. My biggest accomplishment. Well, that was a great day. I'm really glad that I got out here with my whole family. We caught a good amount of fish. Now, here's the best part. Taking it home and cooking it up whatever way we want. And I haven't really thought of the way I want to do it yet. I'm going to talk with the family and see what we want to do. We're going to cook it up together. It's going to be a fantastic, fantastic meal of the freshest fish possible. And whiting is my favorite fish to eat. I know they're smaller, but honestly, these smaller fish, they have a lot less mercury. They taste a lot sweeter. The meat is a lot more delicate, a lot more tasty. There's a lot less work involved. But when you take the time to clean these little fish, you actually get a really, really delicious meat out of it. So come back with us. We're gonna cook it up. We're gonna eat it all together.
I'll try it first. I'm gonna dip into the sauce that we made. But this place is really This fish is so good. You guys have to try the fish. This fish is crazy. I made a mistake of dipping it in there. I don't need to dip anything. Okay, you can feel it. That would be so good in like a milk and a sandwich. Oh yeah. 